Welcome back to the Crochet Crowders with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna do the Hugs and Kisses headband and this is designed by my assistant Jeannie. Now she has two sizes. So for a regular adult size use a H five millimeter and for a larger size if you need it it's a size K six and a half millimeter. You can use your Karen one pound yarn. She did these in solid colors and this is done in the Hugs and Kisses format. This is pretty easy. We did this for the Crochet Cruises for Alaska. You know protect your ears. Jeannie's not a fan of hats uh, making or wearing hats so she likes headbands because she likes her hair to be exposed because that's just the type of girl she is. <laughs> so I don't blame her. Sometimes people uh, just want to have their own personal style and that's it for Jeannie. So without further ado let's uh, get going and let's start your new headband. So let's begin with the slip knot and I want you to chain a total of 60 and that's for both sizes and just use a different size crochet hook if you need to change the size and we're going to do 60 but I'm gonna show you a trick. So let's do 10 first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Once you have your 10 just take this off and put the last chain on and then insert on and keep on going. So 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Go all the way to 60 for me. See me back here in just a moment. Once you have your 60 on here, I actually think I might be a larger size head. <laughs> Don't tell anybody it's our little secret. So I have my 60 on here so just yarning over pulling it through and through and that will do that. Now because I had you do that way this chain should not be twisted in any way. So if it, it, if it was twisted make sure you go untwist it before you do the slip stitch. So let's uh, begin round number one. You're going to chain one and I want you to focus on the back loop only. So just the back loop of the chain insert in and I want you to single crochet yourself all the way around using the back loop and, and if, by using the back loop it creates a nice finished look for an edge that you don't need to worry about later. So just one single crochet in each of the chains going around. When you get all the way back around you're just going to just continue to single crochet up into the very last one and then you're going to join it to the very beginning with a slip stitch. Now before you join make sure that this is not twisted in any weird way so there should not be a, a area that's twisting around. So think about it like a fan belt of a cart, a car. It doesn't have a twist. It's just it remains flat. So please pull out and make sure. So let's uh, continue now to round number two. Round number two, nice and easy round. So you're just gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet here and throughout and you're gonna advance to the next stitch and just double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So please double crochet now all the way around. I'll see you at the end. So I'm coming up all the way back around for my double crochets and then I'm gonna go into the slip stitch. I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the first. So see how this goes into this. So that is the last stitch there. So just make sure that you slip stitch now to the top. So now we're going to begin some fun stuff and we're working now and we're gonna continue then to <laughs> fun stuff meaning single crochet. Sorry I thought I was ahead of myself. So I'm gonna chain up one and I'm gonna go one single crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around once again. So this is round number three and we're gonna continue then our journey. So single crochet in each all the way around. So I'm coming back around and I'm single crocheting in each all the way and then I'm gonna join it. So now we're really gonna begin the fun stuff. So round number four. Round number four we're gonna start doing a crisscross. So we're gonna chain up three and it doesn't count as anything in this particular instance. It's, it's just a builder. So we're gonna come immediately to the next one and you want to double crochet. And then what you wanna do and then what you wanna do, the one that you just came out of, you want to just simply just move it forward and access that stitch from behind and just double crochet. So you've just created a crisscross. So just double crochet. So let's review that again. So you're gonna skip two more. So the first way that you started is different from the rest of it. So you have two that will be your next one. So you skip the next one, double crochet in the one after that and then just wrap the hook and double crochet in the one that you skip by just shifting the other stitch forward and accessing it from the back side. Okay, so you got the next two. So go to the second one over and then just shift and then just get the one that you skipped. And I want you to do that all the way around. This is considered a crisscross and you'll see this is in the pattern and it looks really awesome. So please do that now. So I'm just finishing up all the way around. I crisscrossed myself all the way through and now I'm just going to join it to the top of the first um, crisscross. So I'm ignoring this double crochet and just going right into the crisscross itself. 
So that would finish that. So now we're going to repeat round number three. Round number three, chain one and it's gonna be one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So please do that now. I'll see you back here in a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around. I'm just single crocheting right to the end and then I'm gonna slip stitch. So now we're gonna begin some popcorn work. So this is what the middle of it. So you're halfway through now as we continue. So we're gonna chain two counts as a half double crochet and here and through it. So now we're going to popcorn into the next. So to do a popcorn you're going to wrap the hook and you are just going to just insert in and you're putting in three double crochets into that same one. Then what you just do is take it off and go to the first one of the grouping of three, grab the hook and then pull through. So your first popcorn is now done and now the next one is gonna be half double crochet. So just half it and now here comes the repeat. So you're gonna half double crochet the next one and then popcorn in the next one after that. So there's gonna be three double crochets in that one to make the popcorn. So put your three in, then drop the loop, pick up the, go into the first one of the grouping of three, grab the loop, pull through. And then you're going to half double crochet then the next one. Okay, so that's your repeat. So it's half double crochet, popcorn, half double crochet, that's your repeat. So let's do it one more time. So you're gonna half double crochet and then popcorn so it's three doubles. Okay, once you get your three in there, insert it into the top and then half double crochet in the next. So please do that all the way around for your repeats of round number six. So just finish the popcorn round and when you finish you have a half double crochet at the end. Remember you started with it chain two which counts. So you're just gonna just slip stitch to the top of the first chain two. So this is what it looks like now. So we're, you're at the halfway point. So let's uh, continue now. We're going to move on and we are then going to um, begin our next stitch. So uh, popcorn, so repeat round number three which is a single crochet. So chain one and do one single crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around and then meet me here. Now the popcorn don't get confused on those. The popcorn is only one stitch on top and then there's two half double crochets after it. So if you wanna keep an eye, so it's like a waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's the popcorn and then the two half double crochets. Please do that. Same thing going all the way around. Coming all the way back around now, I just single crochet myself around and I wanna make sure I get all my stitches in. So that was the top of the popcorn and then the last half double crochet and then I started with the first half double crochet. So let's now continue then. So a half double crochet. So essentially what we're doing is we're mirroring what we've already done. So next time this next one is a, a crisscross. So we're gonna chain up three, doesn't count as anything and you're just gonna come into the very next one and double crochet and then come back and get the one where the double, where the chain three is coming out of. Okay, so there's your crisscross once again. So skip and go to the second one over, double crochet and then come back and do the other one. And you're getting your crisscross. So please do your crisscrossing again for this round and we're gonna continue on in just a moment. So I'm coming to the end and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first crisscross over. So the first double crochet that's in the crisscross. Now we're gonna continue and now we're gonna do a single crochet. I'm getting used to the pattern now. So just chain of one, single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way around, just single crocheted and now we're gonna continue. So what is next? If you look at back at this side, we did the double crochet which would be next and that's also as per the pattern. So chain three counts as a double crochet and advance to the next stitch and double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. Please do that and we have one more round to do and then you're done your headband for today. Coming all the way back around just double crocheting and then I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first chain three. Last one to go, here you go. You're gonna chain up one and finally let's finish it off with a single crochet all the way around and when I come back we'll just uh, weave in our ends and then you're good to go and enjoy. So this is the Hugs and Kisses uh, head warmer and I'll be right back and we'll finish off together. So I'm coming to the conclusion and actually this went pretty quick and uh, Jeannie said it would anyway. So here we go and that's it. So we're just going to trim off your very final one here and we're just gonna loop it through and pull through. Now grab your tapestry needle, 
finally calling that right after all these years. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it for the next one though. So we're gonna just pull through and what I want you to do is just dive it in to the stitch work in behind. So that it, clearly this is the good side of the project that you're looking at. So come in behind and go through once and when you pull it don't make it look like it's gonna change any of the looks. So don't over pull, uh, overstretch it and then come back in the other direction staying on the back side of the project two and three. And what I want you to do that starting one that we had even though you started off with a slip knot um, you do wanna get rid of those loose ends. So what you can do is that you can just get the other one here depending on how much length you left. If you haven't got long enough you can always sink the needle in partially into the project and then feed it onto the eye of the, uh, the tapestry needle. And now I'm just gonna come in through and the point is is just to get it in there, get it mixed into those fibers so that you don't have to worry about that falling out because people will notice tails when you're wearing something on your head and the tails are falling out. So that's it for now. Let me just back out the camera. Let's see our work for today. And so this is the Hugs and Kisses uh, headband. It's actually really nice. Even if you change colors it would be awesome too. So this is a pattern on behalf of my assistant Jeannie and we hope that you have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.